Just met it, yeah. Yeah, I put it in overdrive, yeah, Lewis. Making money with my eyes closed, so when I'm wide awake, got me feeling like a diamond and diamond. It's coming in without me driving, driving. Whoa. I had to put in overtime, now I'm in overdrive. Had to put in overtime, now I'm in overdrive. Stay in control. Ooh. Yeah, I'm cruising, driving slow. Drive. I'm a Nova driver, it's my time to blow. Blow, blow. And you know that it's time for the show. Ooh. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, yeah, you know this my year, my year. Shining like a chandelier. Yeah, I'm shining. Everything I do, I do it with no fear. Whoa. Yeah, I put it in overdrive. Yeah, oh, Making money with my eyes closed, so when I'm wide right awake. Y a mi seto muy fly Mano para arriba mami Enjoy the ride Vamos a subir el volumen Y volamos high 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 Cruzamos no la noche entera Ya tú sabes que me gusta vida nueva No no le por música que se edifica Cruzando por la calle Pues vamos tirando fiesta Oye mi gente ya tú sabes cómo es Riding with the kings It's to the top and nothing less Fluyendo con el estilo Este comienzo estamos blessed Todas gracias al señor I think you got us me so fair ha. Que vibra, que vibra, que vibra Viviendo el sueño y no vivir día a día que vibra, que vibra, que vibra. Paseo ambiente, vamos a vivir vida rica. Yeah, I put it in overdrive. Yeah, Lewis. Making money with my eyes closed, so when I'm wide awake, money I got me feeling like a diamond and diamond. Got me feeling. It's coming in without me driving, driving.
fast or slow I'll let you choose the vibe Tell me yes or no Enjoy the ride Let's have the time of our lives Everything's going right So sit back and vibe Let's vibe Feeling that you ever felt, don't lie. Now that you're telling me that, it caught me by surprise. We can ride in my Maybach and cruise all night, yeah. I know that you're feeling it, but I'm just different. I can see you getting into it. I promise I ain't missing it. Ooh, yeah. Don't be let's go. We can take it fast or slow. I'll let you. Tell me yes or no Enjoy the ride Let's have the time of our lives Everything's going right So sit back and vibe Let's vibe Sure. New whip, but my money's so raw. Overdrive, but I stay in control. 
Gotta stay in control. Ooh. Yeah, I'm cruising, driving slow. Drive. I'm an overdrive, it's my time to blow. Blow, blow. And you know that it's time for the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now. Yeah, you know this is my year. My year. Shining like a chandelier. Yeah, I'm shining. Everything I do, I do it with no fear. Whoa. Yeah, I put it in overdrive. Yeah, oh, Making money with my eyes closed, so when I'm wide awake. Money Muy fly, mano para arriba, mami, enjoy the ride. Vamos a mover el volumen y volamos high, high, high. Cusámonos la noche entera. Ya tú sabes que me gusta vida nueva. Dándole por música que se edifica. Cruzando por la calle, pues vamos tirando fiesta. Oye, mi gente, ya tú sabes cómo es. Riding with the kings to the top and nothing less. Fluyendo con el estilo, hasta comienzo estamos blessed. Todas gracias al señor, I think you got us, mi chofer. Ha. Que vibra, que vibra, que vibra. Viviendo el sueño y no vivir día a día. Que vibra, que vibra, que vibra. Paseo ambiente, vamos a vivir vida rica. Yeah, I put it in overdrive. Yellows. Making money with my eyes closed, so when I'm wide awake. Money, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like a diamond and diamond. Got me feeling. It's coming yeah. in without me trying. Hello, everyone. This is Scott Bachman, Executive Vice President for Vibe Rides, and welcome to our driver training session. Appreciate everybody tuning in with us today. Hope you enjoyed our music on the front end. As we like to say at Vibe Rides, we're just different, and we've actually had some uh, music that's been composed directly for us. So for those of you, there may be a few of you on here joining for the first time today. Uh, we started this driver training series last Friday. And if you were not able to attend or watch that online live last Friday, it's also out on our Facebook site. You'll be able to go out there and you can get the recap and watch through what happened on last Friday. Uh, last Friday, we covered a lot of information as it pertains to getting through the application process and then signing up as a driver for Vibe Rides. So again, that's out there on the Facebook page. Um, also want everybody to know that on our VibeRides.com, Page also, you can go out there. There's a support tab up at the front. A lot of the questions you are going to have may be on there also. Um, so if you were not on the call on Friday, let me just go back and recap a few things. Um, what we're doing right now is we're meeting every day here at 11 o'clock, specifically to go through training as it relates to the drivers for Vibe Rides. So uh, we'll, we'll be doing it all week. There's going to be different topics all week. I would encourage you to get on and listen live if you can. Um, if you're not able to, again, go back and watch it on, on, on Facebook. Uh, we'll record everything that's there. So the, the content that we're going to have every day is we're going to go over a new topic. And then we know from last time, there's a lot of items that come in as during chats during, during the call. It's a little bit difficult for us to respond to all of those chats and the questions that you all have as we go through the process. Um, but we're going to do at the end of every session now is we're going to go back and we're going to cover the chats from the prior session, answer those questions. So if you've got a specific question, feel free to put it in the chat box here today. Um, we will we'll gather all that information and then we'll answer those next time. Like I said, it gets a little bit difficult for us to go through it. So um, hope you're all excited. Um, you know, we're very excited here at Vibe Rides and what's going on. Um, you know, we're enjoying doing these trainings for the drivers. We're very driver focused. And so with that, um, let's get underway. So Mark, if I can ask you to just kick off the first slide for me. 
And there we go. We are in the Vibe Rides driver training series. So this is something that we're doing. Uh, we started last Friday. We're going to go all the way up through March 31st. And then what we're going to do on April 1st is we're going to actually show you some very, we're going to show you some live demonstrations um, from within Texas and within Florida of riders and drivers and everything actually working so you can actually see how it's gonna happen. Uh, we would expect most of you to be driving, if not on the first, by Friday this week. I mean, excuse me, Friday on April 3rd. Let me clarify that, Friday, April 3rd. So live demos of it on April 1st, and we expect you all to be driving by Friday, April 3rd. Um, can you hit the next slide, please, Mark? So just so everybody knows, um, we're also translating this Zoom call in Spanish. Uh, for our Spanish members, our Spanish drivers uh, listening in, you can go to Spanish Zoom line 443-186-957. So again, that is the Spanish Zoom line. I give everybody, all of our Spanish speaking members and drivers a chance to get on. So one of the things we want to talk about today, which is really important to all you drivers out there, more than anything else, is how is the pay calculated? How do we come up with that? There's a fare that's paid by the, the rider. But what does that mean to me as a driver? So we want to run through that today, just give you an idea of what all goes into the fare that the riders pay and explain to you what pieces you're going to get. So first of all, when we start off, we charge on every ride, we charge a technology platform fee. And you're basically going to say, what is that for? Uh, well, as you can imagine, as, as a corporation for Vibe Rides, there's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of expense that we have into making our applications that we have to continually and constantly develop the software to make it better, to always add new features to it and new services to it. And in order to do this, we have to have you know, funds coming in to make that happen. So this technology platform fee is used 100% just to fund and continue to fund the development of future technologies as it pertains to Vibe Rides, which from your, from your standpoint as a driver, uh, would be considered a good thing. It basically says that the Vibe Rides is dedicated to consistently move forward and continue getting better and better every day. And that's that technology platform fee will be something that's paid by every rider. And that'll go to continue, like I said, to develop our software. The next category that we have on, on every ride is really comes down to be a number of, I'll call it more um, compliance type, governmental type issues or um, just registration issues. So sales tax, we all know sales tax. We've all purchased items in the store. We know sales tax is added on top of things. We are required based on the different state to municipalities. Sometimes it's at the city level, sometimes it's at the county level, sometimes it's at the state level to actually have to pay sales tax on that ride. This, this money that we will collect from that ride and we will remit it onto the local taxing authority. So again, sales tax, if you look at it, is, is a pass-through. By Verizon doesn't make any money off of that, um, and neither do you. Uh, next category that we have is, is airport fees. Um, a lot of you may remember in the old days, you're getting in your taxi at the airport, and up on the screen, they had the little box. And you would sit in that, you would sit in there, and as soon as you got in there, they threw the arm down, and you immediately had a fee of something like 250 or 350 or if you're in New York, it might have been higher. That's basically an airport fee. Um, but the airports have realized that with the taxis going down and ride shares going up, they would still like to capture those fees. So for the airports, every time a ride share company goes on the premises, they have to pay a fee for the airport. Same as it used to be in the old taxi days, but that's an airport fee that's paid. Again, it's something that we have to collect from the rider. Um, again, it's an item that uh, you as a drivers don't get part of, we don't get part of. It's just passed on. It's passed on to the airport, and that's part of the cost of doing business at the various airports that we have. One of the other items that we're seeing come up, again, because technology is improving so much, is what we call venue fees. We're starting to see some of the larger venues out there, uh, really as it relates to football, um, as it relates to basketball, baseball, and hockey, uh, that some of the venues are getting a little bit smarter and realizing there's another income opportunity for them. So we're starting to see a little bit, it's not, not throughout the whole country yet, but we're seeing that a lot of the venues are, are seeing that there's a possibility they can uh, generate some additional fees if, again, um, they charge for being able to pick up close to their venue. 
So in the case that there are any venue fees, again, it's something that we'll collect from the riders and we will pass on to that venue. Again, it's an area that, you know, neither the you as a driver or us as Vibe Rides makes any money on. So the next item we have is tolls. I know that comes up as a question for a lot of people as it relates to tolls. So as, as we look at the, oops, it's a little background noise to That's not my baby, I don't have any babies. Um, if we look at the tolls, um, tolls differ again, uh, state to state in, in how they operate. But usually in the state they have what's called a, a plate pass or a toll pass. And then they actually have a license plate charge. So what that means is usually again for some states, if you have the plate pass or the toll pass, you may be able to go through a toll for let's say $1.50. Um, if you just go through without one of those passes and they're just reading your license plate, it costs usually a little bit more and usually like $2. Um, just so you understand is that when we reimburse you for the tolls that you've incurred, we're gonna be reimbursing it as if you had a license plate charge. So if I was driving through, let's say the city of Houston, uh, let's say I went through three tolls, I had a, I had a, a plate pass, uh, three tolls at $1.50 would be $4.50, uh, but we know the license plate toll charge would be uh, $2, we'd reimburse you the $6 versus, the, uh, versus $4.50. Uh, we don't really have a way of knowing if you have a toll pass or if you have a license plate, so we're going through and doing it in, in that manner. Um, but again, that's something that will be reimbursed to you. Um, also at the bottom of the slide, you'll notice that 100% um, of the tips will always go to you. And when we look at Vibe Rides, we like to say we're different. And we're going to talk tomorrow about our culture in Vibe Rides, why we're different and how we're doing things different. And one of the important things we're looking at is, is the manner in which we can actually improve the interaction, improve the experience between the riders and the drivers out there. It's something that we're focused on. And really from your standpoint, it's a helpful thing too, because as a driver, you wanna know how to maximize the tip you can actually get from your rider. Um, we're gonna give you some, some pointers and some tips on how you can do that uh, because we want you to make as much money as you can. We can't control you when, when you're providing your service in the car, but we're gonna give you all of the ideas thoughts and how to basically provide that rider with the best ride possible. The one piece on here that you're all familiar with is the mileage and the time. Um, that's fairly standard across all rideshare companies. So mileage and time is really the, the, the big piece where you're gonna make your money. As I said, tolls are gonna be reimbursed for you, tips are 100% for yours, and then mileage and time is going to be the big piece. So Mark, the next slide uh, please. So what we do at Vibe Rides is 75% of that actual mileage and time is gonna be paid to you after the first 50 rides that you have for a month. And again, you're gonna see in the bottom, we've got with a little asterisk down there that it basically says that you're not getting 75% of the sales tax or the airport fees, or the technology fees or the tolls. You are basically getting 75% of that mileage and uh, distance time after your first 50 rides a month. Uh, prior to that, we'll be paying out approximately 70%, but once you get those first 50 rides in, you're gonna be paid at 75%, uh, which we feel, and I think you'll agree, is a fairly uh, good price in the industry today. So later on this week, and then if you're looking at this number, you're gonna say 75%, and you're thinking to yourself, geez, Scott, 75%. Where does the other 25% go in this equation? And which is a really good question. So if you remember the last time um, I made the comment about being an opportunity driven concept that, that Vibe Rides is an opportunity driven concept versus a self-employment concept. So when we talk about that, uh, we're basically letting you know that there's gonna be an opportunity that we're gonna explain this week. And this opportunity is gonna give you the ability to earn another 12% on top of the 75%. So I just wanna say that one more time. Again, opportunity driven concept, not a self-employment concept. If it was a self-employment concept, you would be doing 75% is what you're gonna get. With the opportunity driven concept that we've devised again, Vibe Rise is just different and we wanted to do this differently. And the way we're gonna do this, you're gonna have the ability to earn up to another 12% which is pretty exciting, which would state that out that mileage and distance rate that you saw on the last slide, 
we're going to be paying out 80, up to 87%. Up to 87% is what we could be paying out. Some of you may ask, how is that possible? How, how can you do that? Um, our business model is structured differently than a lot of the other companies out there. We're privately held. Uh, we're not a publicly traded company. We have different ways that we can do business and we put together a business model that we feel is really beneficial to the riders, which are the key to this industry. So I hope you're excited about that. You're gonna wanna be on the calls this week as we go over these items, as we, as we explain really our culture and our concept and why we're different. Uh, we want you to see the opportunity that you can have as a driver coming up. Um, so, you know, we're super excited about it here. Um, again, a lot of time has been spent looking at this. Uh, we're very, very excited about it at Vibe Rides. Um, but I want to I want to continue on as the pay side. So right now we've basically told you how you're going to get paid. Uh, we've gone through the calculation on that. But I also want to go through what I would consider the um, process and the procedures. You're going to say, that's great, Scott, but now tell me how we're going to get paid in the process. Uh, for those of you that were on the call uh, on Friday last week, our business development director, Angela, came on and she basically walked you through uh, the app and how it worked as pertaining to signing up to be a driver. I'm going to bring Angela back on the line right now and I'm going to have her go through the method in which you get paid. So, Angela, are you there? Let's hope she is. I am. Good morning, Vibe Rides Nation. How are you? I hope you're all well and safe out there and very excited to be here to carry on this training um, for you so you can get some more information. Um, so next slide, please. We'll get right into the other way you're going to get paid. <laughs> oh, we're just going to need a minute here. is your e-wallet setup. So we're gonna show you how the process actually works in regards to how you access your funds. Next slide, please. Okay, so what's gonna happen here, here's just an example of when you do your first ride. When you, when you do your first ride, it's going to trigger a link. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna send you an email and it's gonna congratulate you and it's gonna give you a link that you click on and it will take you to your wallet. So basically what you'll get is a link, okay? Congratulations, of course. A link, your username and a temporary password and you'll be able to change your password um, after that. So this one's temporary, okay? And then once you get to that page, uh, next slide, please. This is what you'll see. So basically you'll use your username and your temporary password to log into your account. Okay, it's very, very simple. And as you can see up there, you can navigate through and it's just like a new phone. You know, when you get a new phone, you, you wanna navigate through it to learn how to do it. So once you get this link, just go ahead and navigate through and, it, and it'll get you all the kind of answers that you need. Um, so once you log in, next slide please. it will take you to your dashboard. And your dashboard consists of withdrawing your funds, your account, and your prepaid card, which is awesome. One of the great things that we have is you're able to transfer your funds onto a prepaid card. So it's like a debit card that you'll be able to utilize. So you can use that anywhere you go. You can transfer your funds or withdraw your funds by transferring it into a bank account. And then the my account button will show you all the details of your account. So what we'll do is at a later date, we'll literally go back into your back office in a sense, and we'll navigate and train you through all this. But once you get it, just like I said, like a new phone, all you have to do is, you know, click on the buttons and navigate through and you'll learn it pretty quickly. But we will give you a training regards to the details um, of your wallet. But this is basically very simple concept, uh, how to access your money. Okay. Next slide, please. All right, Scott, I think this is you. Yes, I, I'll take that, Angela. So when we talk about getting paid, uh, Angela gave you the methodology and people ask, you know, when are we going to get paid? And that answer is weekly. So let me explain how that's going to be. Um, starting on April 3rd at 4 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, 
is going to be the start of the weekly cycle. That'll run all the way up until the following Friday at 3.59 a.m. And that'll be one week of, of driving in activity. Uh, the money will actually go out to your e-wallet then on Thursday, the following week. So again, you'll earn it Friday through Friday, and it'll actually go into uh, your wallet on Tuesday. So that's how the weekly pay is going to be set up initially to start with. Um, we may refine it a little bit as we move forward and we tweak things here and there, uh, but just want anybody, everybody to be aware is that's gonna be the weekly pay cycle. Okay, Mark, under the next one. I think Angela, you're gonna take the next slide. So Vibe Nation, you are very important to us. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit about health and safety, which is really important because remember your, your uh, vehicle is, is, is your office basically, right? So it's really important to make sure that you keep your environment and your mobile office very safe. So we all heard about maintaining social distancing, really, really important. Right now it's up to six feet. Um, so keeping distances, uh, not going out unless it's absolutely necessary. If you need some groceries and you need to go to the grocery store or to go to get a prescription or go to the uh, drugstore, absolutely go and do that. But try to maintain social distancing. It's important for you and for yourself, right? We want to stay safe. That includes staying home if you are sick. If you have any type of if you're not feeling well at all, don't go out. But even if you're not feeling sick, don't go out unless it's absolutely necessary, okay? Wash your hands often. I mean, I wash them like all the time. I think it's it's just a habit. And now it's, it's, it's become more of a habit for me because I'm very mindful because I'm always touching surfaces. And when definitely when you go out and you come back, you constantly want to wash your hands, okay? So also clean, frequently touch surfaces regularly. And I've got notes here because there's so many surfaces. Let's see here. I mean, there is um, door handles, doorknobs, light switches. Oh my goodness, people forget about light switches. Countertops, desks, uh, hardback chairs. You know how you're leaning on a chair naturally? Well, yeah, you, you've touched that. So it's, it's great to be able to clean that. Faucets and sinks. You know how you go first thing you do? You want to wash your hands when you get home, right? You grab that, that uh, faucet. Definitely clean that off, okay? Um, what else we got here? Clean your personal items frequently. What I did, believe it or not, I, I cleaned my wallet, okay? So I cleaned the outside of one wa my wallet the other day. And then I said to myself, oh goodness, you know what? I've touched my credit card, I've touched my ID, everything on the inside of my wallet, I also touched. So what I did was I didn't only clean the outside of my wallet, I took out my debit card and my frequently used credit cards and I cleaned those off as well, okay? So um, purses, purse handles, your briefcase handles, anything that you personally touch. Also, when you get home from being outside, um, I guess the, the virus can be in your hair and on your clothes. Take your clothes off, take a shower, wash your hair and you know clean clothes. Believe it or not, it stays on, especially if you've been out. You want to be safe, so do that, okay? Um, clean, frequently touch surfaces regularly in your car. Believe it or not, your, remember your seatbelt? We kind of forget about that, right? So you're grabbing that seatbelt every single day and every time you're in your vehicle. So make sure you clean that off and the mechanism that clicks in, clean that off. Um, what else do they have here? Headrests. Headrests are important. Um, car door handles, the inside and the outside, your gear shifting uh, mechanism, your rear view mirror, if you're touching your rear view mirror, um, all dials on your dashboard, clean those off as well. Your steering wheel, your steering wheel is as dirty as the money that you touch and anything you touch outside. And those surfaces are really dirty. So you're gonna transfer it onto your steering wheel. So sometimes we're not mindful of that. So I do that all the time now. So I have wipes in my car, in my console. I wipe down my console. I do all that, so really, really important. And of course, clean your phones and your computers. And not only the outside cover, if you have a cover on your computer or on your phone, take the cover off. 
clean your phone, clean your cover, and then put it back on. Okay, so really, really important. And we want to keep you safe. You're important to us. Um, so please heed those, those instructions and do the best you can so we can keep each other safe and you keep everyone else around you safe as well, right? And another little note here, which is actually kind of important too, is first impression, everyone. You want to keep your car clean no matter what. It's, it's, it's your one chance to make a good impression. When someone enters your car, they want to feel safe, not only during this type of time, all the time. This is how, you know, you want, it, you want them to come back. And when they feel safe, they're saying, wow, I can't wait to use Vibe Rides again. And I can't wait to have this driver again. He keeps everything clean. He's professional. And, and he takes care of his environment. So it makes them feel comfortable and they want to come back, okay? So try to do that. Be mindful of that. It's really important, okay? And I think that's it for those items. Next slide, please. Okay, so what Angela and I are gonna do right now is we're gonna go and answer the questions and the answers from last Friday. So I'm gonna read the question out to Angela and she's gonna answer it for everybody just, uh, just so we can know. I see we've got quite a few coming through the chat already today, um, close to 60 people on the chat line and we will go through when we're done with this call and we will go through and get answers for those so tomorrow. All right, Angela, you ready to go? I am ready. First question came in from Jonah. His question was, is this the meeting for drivers or for entrepreneurs and potential business owners? All of the above. Um, the series of trainings are for drivers, potential drivers, and entrepreneurs. Anyone in that category, you're more than welcome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, next question came up from Ibia Hagos. When will you guys be on the road? We are set to launch April 1st. If that changes, of course, we'll let you know. Um, but right now, we're set for April 1st, everyone. Okay, Natasha asked, is this on Facebook? Absolutely, you can, all these trainings are recorded. So you can go back and, and back as, as often as you want. So we'll have all of that information on Facebook Live at Vibe Rides Facebook page, okay? Awesome, uh, Mike B asked, any on-road training? Oh yes, we will definitely do that. So as you saw the process that we took you through the download process, we'll also be taking you through the backside of the app process when you're actually on the road. So we'll give you a chance to understand the navigation and how to, how to actually navigate through the back of the app and we'll help you do that. So we're going to be do that, doing that as well. Okay, next question from JT Byrne. I know JT's on the line today. I saw him. Uh... I saw his picture and I saw him logged in. JT wants to know, when is it starting in Tampa? Hey, JT, we are starting in Tampa, just like we're starting in Texas. Um, of course, Texas and Florida, we're gonna launch April 1st as well. All right, next question comes from Hockey Town 2 g which of course for me, Hockey Town 2 g sounds like this individual's from the state of Minnesota, which I am, so I'm a hockey fan. So Hockey Town 2 g uh, wants to know when a more state's gonna be added. Well, we'll be adding more states um, as we move through. So we're gonna start with Florida and Texas, of course, and then we are working on that. We'll be announcing that soon. So let us work through, let's get us rolling, rocking and rolling um, in, in the states that we've, we've, uh, we're have going to be starting on April 1st, and then we will slowly be adding other states and we'll most definitely let you know, you're by Brides Nation. We're definitely gonna let you know, okay? Great. Mike B says, can we receive this slide deck via email or will it be accessible on the website? Uh, they're going to be accessible on Facebook, um, on the Facebook page. So every recording, every training, everything we do regarding Vibe Rides will all be posted on the Facebook page and you have access to that 24 seven. Okay. Craig Howard looking for an ETA for the Los Angeles area. Ah, that's a good question. So again, um, we definitely, it's a process for us for every state. So we're doing our due diligence now to see what states will be next. And we'll definitely let you know in regards to that. Okay. But thanks for your question. Uh, Craig Howard had a follow-up question. Uh, can he use a, a social security number instead of a social security number? Can he use an employee identification number? So it's SSN versus EIN. That's a great question, Greg. Um, the answer to that is you need your social security number for, because it's a personal profile. 
Um, but you know, Scott, you know, in regards to all this business stuff, do you want to explain to them the other thing that you can do besides your social security number? Yes. So I think Craig, here's, I think the question that Craig is asking. Uh, for many of you people out there, you have a business and you very well may have a, a separate tax ID number for your business. So we have to look at this in two different ways. The first thing is, as Angela said, the social security number, your social security number is going to be used for the background check. We do not want to use a business identification number for the background check. This background check has to be as you as an individual. So when we go to the driver app, you have to use your social security number. Now, I believe the question that Craig was asking is, am I going to get paid on my compensation and commissions? Can I get that paid in my company's name? And the answer to that is yes. As we go through the e-wallet process, like Angela explained, you're going to be asked to fill out a W-9. Uh, W-9 is a form from the IRS, which basically states your name and your, and your address and the tax ID number that you would like to have your commissions or compensations associated with. At that point in time, you will have the choice to decide, I either want it under my personal social security number or I want it under my business tax ID. We provide no advice there. That's up to you and your personal tax advisor. But Craig, you will have the opportunity to get your commissions and compensations paid out in your business name, which I think is that what's, what you wanted to know. Okay, next question, Angela, comes from Drenna, and she wants to know, is this only for Apple users or is Android included too? Of course, of course Android's included. Absolutely, you're all included, we could, but yes, iPhone and Android, the process is exactly the same. Okay, uh, Ramon asked, I registered with the wrong date of birth and now I can't change it, what shall I do? Yes, you can now, so what we did was, as we said to you at, at the initial, and if you weren't at the initial training, what is happening now is you're able to go in and change your information. So absolutely, Brenna, go right back in and go through your profile and you can add all that information um, and, and, change, and change it, okay? But now remember, once you do change it and once you are completely approved and verified, what happens is your, your, your profile would get locked down. That is for security reasons, for both you and us, okay? So that's important. Now, once that's done, you can't go in and change it yourself, but what you can do is you can send an email to driver support and they will change, they will verify your changes before you're actually gonna be able to do that. So before that, you are able to access your profile. After that, you'll, you'll have to get it uh, approved first, but yeah, it's going to be accessible. Okay, next question from, um, I'll get the name wrong, it's either Edie or Eddie. Is this Vi is Vibe Ride coming to New York and New Jersey? You know what, we're excited too. We want to be everywhere and anywhere at the same time, right? That's It's just exciting because we wanted to share it with the world. But we have to follow some protocols and processes. And yes, we're looking at different states and we will most definitely let you know um, once we decide on the next states that we will be entering. But again, at this point, I can't say yes, but I also can't say no. So be patient with us and we'll let you know, okay? Okay, Angela, Mike Thomas wants to know, is Vibe Rides going to be worldwide? Yeah, that's, again, great question. And we want to be worldwide. Absolutely. We want to be global. We want to share Vibe Rides with the whole world. But again, we have to do our due diligence and we have to follow processes and every region, and every country is different. So um, it depends on that. So, but we will most definitely let you know. Uh, LaShonda Deli uh, asked a similar question that we've seen had come up earlier is, is where will all of these uh, videos and trainings be posted? Yeah, my Rides Facebook page. Go on there. It's accessible to you 24-7. We've got all kinds of recordings and all kinds of information for you. So please access it. Do some reading, do some research and train um, and, and get through the trainings at your leisure and be ready to rock and roll. Okay. Um, Craig Howard asked, I'm a driver in California. In order for me to start in Miami, do I need a Florida driver's license? Ah, yes. Where? Oh, I have, I have a, uh, okay. This is, this is serious. <laughs> I, I have to actually have to read this. Okay. 
because I don't want to miss anything. To be considered for approval as a driver on the Vibe Rides platform, you must hold a valid driver's license. We all know that, right? If you're licensed in one state and wish to drive in another, you maintain eligibility to drive if you adhere to the driver's license update requirements in that state. So yes, the answer is initially yes, but make sure you follow that state's rules and regulations, okay? That is definitely up to you, okay? But the answer is yes. <laughs> okay, Angela, so we've had, Angela, we've had a, a number of questions that came in from the chat last week. Uh, related to some codes. So I'm just going to address that for the folks here today is um, we're going to cover that later this week. And I'd ask you just all to be patient as we go through the training. We're going to cover all the questions. Um, I've, I've seen the chats. There's, there's a lot of questions. Um, and there's a concept out there that we're going to talk about this week called overdrive. And overdrive is really what is, is our opportunity driven concept. And so I would just ask the people to be patient with us, get on the calls every day at 11 o'clock. And by the time we finish this week, we'll have the majority of these questions answered for you. Um, we'll also be carrying into Monday and Tuesday next week. Um, but we're trying to do this in a fashion that's a logical fashion to first help our drivers, get our drivers up and registered on the road. So our first series of discussions and training here are really pertaining to the drivers. Um, after we get through the, the, the driver piece, we are going to discuss the opportunity piece, which is going to be the overdrive piece. And then also, like as, as Angela talked about, is really what the app looks like when you're using it out there. So uh, it's, it's some of them I'm not, uh, we're not avoiding answering the questions for you. We're just asking you to just be patient. We'll get to them and we're just going to do it in a logical fashion. Any other comments you'd like to make on that, Angela? All I want to say is you are important to us and we will answer your questions. So if we don't get to you right away, we're taking notes. I promise you the next call, all these questions will be answered for you. So uh, be patient with us and we'll get right back to you. So we're, we're coming to the end of our call today and just want to share a few other thoughts with you. Um, if you've listened to anything and seen on the news lately, it looks like there's going to be a tremendous opportunity coming up for drivers. As we all know, things are transitioning and changing in our culture here and the way things happen day to day. If you look at it an opportunistic standpoint, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for drivers. There's not a lot of people going out right now. And so instead of taking people from location to location, you may be taking meals from location to location. You may be taking prescriptions from location to location. Um, just in the last 24 hours, I saw a few interesting things at Domino's. Is hiring over 10,000 people. They're trying to hire 10,000 people because they believe that the delivery business is going to be that big. 10,000 people at Domino's and, and I've heard CVS saying that they think they need over 50,000 people. So as people are continuing to stay home, there's going to be an opportunity uh, for drivers like you out there. So my recommendation is look at it as an opportunity. You've got opportunities coming up. Um, I'm sure for all of you, your income is down a little bit right now. Uh, but I think it'll trend back in the other directions as your driving switches to more of a, of a delivery standpoint than a person to person from that standpoint. Uh, tomorrow, on tomorrow's call, we're going to go over um, who we are, uh, what our culture is, uh, what our opportunities are. And, and oh, I, I, should, I should back up a little bit. I'm sorry, Mark, let me back up. So we do have, if you got any other questions, we do have places for you to submit your questions. You can go to viberides.com and click support, or you can go to vibridesupport.com. You can toss your questions in through there, and we'd be happy to answer them to you. Uh, Frederick Brim, who runs our customer service team, uh, does an exceptional job in getting back to people, following up on things. That's really your best question to go. I mean, we can, we can try them here in the chat for you too, and we try to put all our questions together to answer. If you've got specific questions pertaining to yourself, feel free to reach out vibridesupport.com or vibrides.com and click support. Uh, at vibride.com support, there's a tremendous amount of information. Again, uh, Frederick Brim and his team have done an exceptional job of going through and documenting information for you. So try that. Okay, Mark, the next slide on to next driver training. Uh, our culture, why we are just different. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. And we're also gonna give you some vibe rides guidelines. But I think once you understand the culture, uh, when you understand how we set up the app, how we've changed the experience to be different than any other rideshare company out there, I think you're going to realize that we are just different. 
later on in the week when we talk about the overdrive piece, when we talk about the different ways that you can earn compensation, you're also going to see that we're just we're just different from that standpoint. So again, I, I would say for all of you out there, drive smart, be safe, and look forward to having you all back on the call tomorrow. Angela, thank you so much for your input today. And uh, any last words you get you have to say for the group? No, I want you to be out there, get ready, be safe. We need you safe and well, and we'll see you very, very soon. Great, thanks all. We'll look forward to seeing you at the same time tomorrow. Bye for now.